All right, we're gonna see if this works. I know everyone's on uh, basically quarantine because of Corona. So I wanted to make sure everyone got some more sword exercises in uh, while we're stuck at home. Private lessons for me, here we go. Um, I'm focusing mostly on our basics, making sure I tell you guys five minutes a day. So let's see if I can get a series of like five minute videos. So we can all do something together so we're not, uh, not just letting our sword skills start to slide, okay? Um, I'm going to be emphasizing core mechanics as we go, and this is an experiment. This is the first time I'm doing this, right? So, uh, please write down your comments about advice that you would like me to, like, focus on more, or if you think we should do something else, add more to it. It's just going to start with five minutes a day of working on all of our mechanics, and if you guys want to do more, something more cardio, something more weight-oriented to help keep our sword muscles going, um, comment below so I know what you guys want us to keep doing. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to post these five minute videos for people who like to keep up with their uh, sword training. Now, I got a variety of things here because I don't know what you guys have access to. I know not all of us own stuff, right? I've got basic sword. I like it. it's heavy and I can still mine the moves. I've got simple dagger. Maybe you've got the low roof like I do and you don't want to hit it when you're doing stuff. Um, and I got weight set behind me. I wouldn't go higher than a 10 for anything we're doing because it's just too much. You can be using something as light as a five or a two while we're doing this and um, you know, find the one that's right for you, okay? But I do recommend you have something to simulate the weight of a sword. If you want to rotate between your left and your right so you don't get one side overly strong, that's fine too. Got a timer here, make sure we do our five minutes, hold on. Okay, on that note, I'm gonna start up. Let's make sure we get our footwork basics going as we always do. Remember, strong side forward, weak side back. We want to have our heels on that proper line. We're focusing on our basic form here. Get in your on guard. Practice high guard. Practice low guard. Your on guard. Off arm in front of you where you can see it so you don't forget about it. Let's get our basic footwork going. Advance. 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 Retreat. 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 And again, I'm going to do it from the side so we can see all of it going. You want to make sure that you have your feet under you. Your balance centered you should be low but not so low it hurts you don't want to go straight leg you've got to find that point of balance for you where you have the most out of it advance step step smooth retreat step step smooth think about your ability to maintain that same amount of distance step step now think about how to change the distance in your step for when you want to Step, step, again, not allowing ourselves to move, right? So, we've got forward, we've got backward, let's get our cross. In slow, cross forward, step, step, cross backward, step, step. Again, from the side, cross forward, step, I don't want to go off camera here, step, Cross back, step, step. And remember, this moment is when you're off balance. We're practicing it slow so we know where it's at. But we're going to go fast on guard. And cross forward, step, step. Cross back, step, step. Again, from the side. Cross forward, step, step. Cross back, step, step. One more time. Here we go. On guard. Advance, advance. Cross back. Advance, retreat, advance with the ghost step. Get that extended step. Advance, retreat with the ghost step. Extended retreat, retreat, cross forward, cross back. Advance, advance, retreat, retreat. Now let's make sure we have the core mechanics of our lunge. Extend, always extend first, right? Leg comes up, jettison forward. Lunge, check your lunge. Is my knee over my ankle? Is my sword extended? Am I behind my blade or did I go wonky with it? Did my off arm come with me? Did I forget it behind me? <sighs> Lunge. Before we recover, we always parry. Go ahead and go slow for now. Just get that parry. Recover. Check your advance. On guard. Extend. Lunge. Parry. Recover from the side. Again, make sure you've got this good wide for you. 
I don't want to be this wide, I'm too wide. If I'm this narrow, I'm dogging it. I'm trying to relieve the stress in my legs. It's exercise, I'm trying to get stronger. On guard, extend, lunge, parry, recover. Again, extend, lunge, parry, recover. Full set. All right, so we've got advance, retreat, cross forward, cross back, extend, lunge, parry, recover. Let's walk through all our parries. Parry one, tip comes down, off arm comes, I mean, hand comes across, looking underneath my forearm, off arm gets out of the way, on guard. Parry two, pressing underneath my opponent's neckline. I rise above my head, pommel hip, tip opposite hip. On guard. Parry three, pressing through my center line, edge out. On guard. Parry four, again, through my center line, leading with the sword edge. Remember those core mechanics, always lead with the edge. Comes across, tip high, hand low. On guard. Parry six. Guarding against my sword arm. Should have that line guiding outside of my body. On guard. Parry seven. Crescenting in. Stopping at my knee. Remember, crescent in, stop at the knee. On guard. Parry eight. Crescenting down. Guarding against my opposite low. Four. Eight. Six. Seven. On guard. Parry nine. Right? Here's our Conan parry. Make sure you're guiding that out. Off arms out of the way. On guard. Parry 10. Okay, we're at five minutes, but because we're doing a lot of talking, we're going to include our step back with our parry set, and then we'll wrap it up for today's. On guard. Parry 1. On guard. Parry 2. On guard. Parry 3. On guard. Parry 4. Now I'm about out of space. So I'm gonna cross forward. On guard. Parry five. Crescent, did I forget five? I think I forgot five. Well, there's five. Remember, crescent underneath your opponent's neckline. Edge goes up over your head. Right there. On guard. Parry six. On guard. Parry seven. On guard. Parry eight. On guard. Parry nine. On guard. We've walked through our parries. We've gone through our advances. Remember the emphasis on the details for now. When you lunge, remember that straight line, even when I'm in a low guard, right? I extend through a straight line. I straight line extension, lunge. Lead with the edge. Step back when you parry. Remember our core mechanics. All right, let's see how this goes. That's just after I did exercising, so I'll probably be doing this between nine and 10, as often as possible. We'll see how it goes.